Hey, it's a great day. I'm Mike Current, Energizer, and today is day 133 on the Continental Divide Trail. So let's do this. So for today, heading into the Benchmark Wilderness Ranch. The next section coming up is kind of long. So most people want to do a resupply here. The only problem is there's nothing around. So people have two options. The first one is to go down to a gravel road at Benchmark, which is essentially more name than anything else, and try to hitch a ride into the town of Augusta, which is about 30 miles away. The locals around here are quite accommodating and they'll pick up hikers and take them into town only problem is there's not many lo many locals and so getting a ride is pretty problematic and some people will pay a hefty price to hire a shuttle to take them from Benchmark down to Augusta. The other option is for people to send themselves boxes to the Benchmark Wilderness Ranch for a fee the Wilderness Ranch will accept boxes. They'll store them for you. And then, yeah, you just go there, pick them up. It's only a little bit off the trail to get there. And so you can be on your way. Doing the boxes a little easier, but you don't get all the conveniences of town. Doing the town, getting in and out is pretty tough, but you get all the conveniences of town if you can get into Augusta. For Logman, Salt and MacGyver, all of them didn't send boxes to the Wilderness Ranch. So, yeah, Logman hitched a ride into the town of Augusta. He pushed forward, as you, if you recall. And this morning, Salt and MacGyver, they either hitched a ride into the town or they used the services of the shuttle. We don't know. For Knee Deep, Mash, and I... We sent boxes to ourselves at Wilderness Ranch. More precisely, our family members sent boxes to us at the Wilderness Ranch. And so we're going to be picking those up and then, yeah, keep moving down the trail. Should be a great day. Been in the scapegoat wilderness for the last day and a half or so, but this is the first sign. Now we're leaving it. Good. Boxes are here. What did they say about power?
Just finished up at the Benchmark Wilderness Ranch. We were able to get a shower, recharge all of our electronics, and pick up our resupply boxes, repackage them for loading out. Have five and a half days of food in the rucksack. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> It was a beautiful day. Man, Great really day. Beautiful horses. Oh, yeah. Now entering the Bob Marshall Wilderness. Let's do this. Gordon? Yeah. Okay. We well, I saw your truck oh, yeah. and trailer. Yeah, so. they it into it, didn't they? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. Going great. You guys look like you're having a great time. Yeah. Thank you. Hope you had a good time. Bridges definitely made for stock. Her sex hung, bear hang, and on the first try. On the first try. Yep, need to point that out. And we're over there. Oh boy. Campground. We have fun. Yes. We have fun. <laughs> Campsite. My home for the night. That's it. <laughs> exactly. When the grizzlies take us, you'll know where we camped. They'll come from the east. <laughs> so closing out day 133. Yeah, great day. Today went uh, better than expected. It really did. The alternate, easy but beautiful trail getting down to Benchmark, and then we got into the Wilderness Ranch. We're able to pick up our boxes without an issue, and uh, bonus, I mean, for a fee, we were able to take a shower and recharge all of our electronics, so that was a, a bonus. Yeah, really happy about that. And then we got back up on the trail and up on the red line, and we're able to do more miles today than we expected. Uh, getting the boxes were, was really nice. And to Mash's dad, I don't know if one of the IPAs was intended for me or not, but Knee Deep and Mash did give me one. And yeah, it did make for a great day. It did. So thank you so much. Uh, we talked to Logman. Logman could not get a ride back out from Augusta, so he'll probably link up with us sometime tomorrow. Uh, we did do 18 miles today, 11 on the alternate, 
and then a little backtracking to get back out to the red line and then seven miles on on the red line yeah sets us up really good for this next section going into the bob marshall wilderness it's gonna be really exciting see you tomorrow